Okay, this is leak code nine in JavaScript palindrome number. So palindrome, uh, as they say, is something that's the same backwards as forwards. So I'll show you a couple of ways to do this. Uh, the way I solve this. So uh, first, I'm going to um, start this by setting reversed to this input x. And I, all I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert it to a string. Then I'm going to split it. Then I'm going to reverse it. And then I'm going to join it. So this is going to, this is how you uh, get a string and you reverse the string. So if I console log this. Give it a second here. I want to run code. So it's giving me this one, two, one. This is a string. You can see this if I do a uh, type of and run this again, it's going to tell me that this is a string. Oh, it didn't like that. Well, that's because I'm missing a friends here. Let's run this one more time. There we go. So it's a string right now. So I now need to take this reverse string and compare it to the input X. So how I can do that is I can simply take a uh, X to string, and then just compare it, see if it's equal to this reversed. And if I return that, it'll give me a true or a false. So let's run this. And if I hit submit, There we go, that works. So that's way one. Uh, let's do uh, let's do another way. I'm just gonna comment that out. Make some more room here. Let's paste that back in, get rid of all of this there. So uh, another way to do this is to start uh, essentially loop through this input number and then just compare uh, the result of that. That Well, you want to loop through it and build up a value. And then you take uh, that value that value that you built up and has been, that has been reversed and then you compare it. So let's, I'll show you how to do that or how I did it. Reversed string. Okay, so we're going to start by declaring an empty string here. And then we're going to say x string. So the string version of x is equal x to string. Okay. And we're going to do a for loop. We're going to let i of this x string. So this is now a string version of x of this input of string version of 121. And we're going to loop through the string version of 121. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this reversed uh, string that starts out as an empty string here. And all we're going to do is take every letter and add on, add it on to uh, the reverse string. So if that didn't quite make sense in my explanation, reversed. That didn't quite make sense when you're looping through this. Uh, where is this? So let X to string. So right now your X string is equal to one. Let's, let's do one, two, three. That makes, maybe it's makes a little more sense. So what this would be on the first pass on pass one, uh, we're going to take reverse string, which is an empty 
string, and we're going to add on uh, i. So that would be one. And then for the second pass, we're going to take on uh, we're going to take i, and then we're going to add on reverse string. Oh, my explanation here was backwards at first. So we're actually taking one plus reverse string. Now we're going to take, uh, nope, I think I was right. And then we're going to take, um, two plus one like that. Remember these are strings. They're not actually doing addition. So that would actually equal to one. And then we're going to take on the last pass, uh, we would add three to that. Like this. Remember this is strings again. So now we'd have three, two, one. So it might be easier to just show that by console logging. There we go. So one, two, one. Oh, my input is one, two, one, but you could see now it's one, two, one. So this here is now technically reversed. So all we need to do oh, let's go outside of the for loop. So all we need to do now is just repair, uh, compare this reverse string to the stringified version of X. So compare them and then I'll give a true or false and then we can just return that. and success. So those are a couple of ways to do that. Let's see if I can't get, clean this up if you wanna look at the whole thing. There we go. So way one at the top, Way two at the bottom. Hope you enjoyed. Appreciate the like and the subs.